So this is just a quick chat today about how you can make some simple changes to improve the look of your Moodle course. So I'm just going to be going through some really simple stuff that's nice and easy to do. So this is my example course up here and it kind of suffers from the usual Moodle scroll of death where I've got lots of content. It goes on and on and on. You kind of, it's easy to lose your place, uh, kind of forget where you are in the course. So the first tip I always recommend to people is if they go to the administration block and under course administration, edit settings. Okay, so when you drop into the edit settings box, if you scroll on down to the course format section, the easiest one to change to is the collapsed topics. So I'll change to that, scroll to the bottom, save and display my course. So now all my course sections are in these nice collapsible sections. So when I click on them, they open up. So someone can see all the content and obviously if they're looking for a different section, it's much quicker to go through and find the section that they're looking for rather than having to go for pages and pages. So that's the first tip. If you have lots of images available and quite a nice format to go for instead of that one is in the course format section, we've also got grid format. So grid format, like it suggests with the name, will put your course into kind of a grid style here where you will get blocks here and if you click on that one, it will expand them in the middle of the page. You can also skip between the sections using these arrows. It's quite a nice looking format. Obviously, you'll need to have some images to pop in this section. So if you turn editing on, you need to click the change image option there and add some images in. But as I said, the uh, collapse topic one, you can do that even if you don't have any images available. So I'm going to switch back to that on my course format. Okay, so I'm going to save, return to my course. So my first section here, I've got a pretty typical section. I've got loads of files that I need my students to have a look at. I've shoved in a load of text that I need them to read in a label. So just thinking about how can we improve that kind of section, make it a little bit easier for students to live with. What I'd recommend here is definitely use labels, but maybe try and avoid having lots of text in the label sections because it adds a lot of content to your home page. What I would do with that text is I would select that text, copy it, and you can move that content into what's called a page. So if you go down to your resources section in add an activity and click on page. So I'll say introduction. This is my introduction content. And this is my page content. I'm just going to paste that text in there. So I've got it in here now. So save and return to the course. And here's my introduction text here. So I no longer need to have a big, huge label on that one. I can delete that one. So yep, I can delete that. And now all the content I need for my students can live on a separate page. So I've kind of tidied up my front page a little bit by putting it into a separate page. The rest of my files obviously still sitting there taking up quite a lot of space. A good idea is to use labels more like headings. So rather than a load of text, if you have headings there. So if I click on add an activity resource, I'm going to add a label from the resources section. And I'm going to call this one uh, assessments. Now, when you are using your labels to put in headings and things like that, it's a good idea to use this section here to choose a format. If you go for heading medium, that's about the same size as the section text. So that looks pretty good. So if I save that one. And there's my assessments there. You can see the text is a pretty similar to kind of section one, a little bit smaller. And then maybe my last couple of files are my assessments. So that's a good way to use labels. If I switch editing off and I go to section two, there's an example there. I've divided up into introduction and body files. So again, another way of making it a little bit nicer. All the tips that are good on your pages are, on this one I can see I've got loads of blocks. So these sections on the right hand side, so I've got administration, accessibility, searching forums. I probably don't need all these in my course. I've not got a forum in my course, so a good idea would be to turn on settings, or turn on editing, sorry. Go down to my search forums block and then I can delete that one. So I'm gonna delete that one. And when students come to this course now, they're gonna have one less block to go through. Again, recent activity, not really one I need, so I'm going to delete the recent activity block. And again, this is just kind of helping to tidy up my course. I've got a couple of blocks here I could probably get rid of as well, a couple of extra ones. Other things to look forward to in future at Borders College, we're going to work on some template files. 
to help you kind of improve the appearance of your Moodle pages, give you a bit of guidance about information that should be in a course. Uh, and we're also looking at our kind of theme and the overall appearance of Moodle for next year and ways that it can be improved to make kind of navigation and the user experience a little bit easier for everyone. So thanks for taking time to watch Moodle Monday today and I uh, hope this has been useful.